It was fun, right? Listening to Coach Stevens was fun, right? So Coach Stevens has been doing that for over 30 years. 30 years. So we want to, you know, appreciate him coming to talk to you guys. Um, everybody got a water? Everybody got a snack? All right, so, so we trick you guys here by telling you to come to play basketball, right? You guys get all excited to come play, right? But then we're going to talk about what? Anti-bullying, right? So today I want to talk about... <clears throat> Last week we introduced bullying to you guys, right? I want to talk about other types of aggressive behavior, like peer conflict, hazing, gang violence, harassment, stalking, young adults, and workplace bullying. Some other types of bullying, okay? Peer conflict bullying. Remember when I said bullying happens when there's a power indifference? Well, when it's a peer conflict, that means two classmates are arguing over who's the better basketball team. So if I tell you the Knicks are better and you tell me the Nets are better, is that bullying each other? It's just disagreeing, right? Say it again? Yeah. It's, it's just disagreeing, so it's not bullying, it's just you're having a disagreement, you're having conflict, right? So if I say the Knicks are the best and he says the Nets are the best, who's better, the Knicks or the Nets? There we go. Okay, does anybody know what hazing is? I'll come back to you. All right, hazing is the use of embarrassing or dangerous activities by a group of people to welcome or initiate a new person. So, Danny, stand up. If it's his first day here and you guys tell him to clean up all the garbage on the floor by himself, that's hazing because you guys should all clean up the garbage, right? But just making the new person do it that's hazing, and it happens a lot when you get into high school and college and in the workplace. All right, sit down, Dan. Uh, gang violence. Does anybody know what gang violence is? Go ahead. Gang up on somebody. Anybody else? Bless you. Jumping somebody? Good. So there are a lot of reasons why youth get involved in gangs. Sometimes you get pulled into a gang that they think you might earn a lot of money or have friends or gain status. Other times you get pushed into a gang because you're afraid of your, for your safety, all right? So even though some, some of you guys may believe that gang involvement may provide safety, protection, excitement, and opportunities, it's actually the opposite. The youth will get caught, caught up in gangs and are less likely to graduate from high school. They're less likely to find a good job and they're less likely to have real friends to help them in times of need. So do we want to join a gang? No, we want to be a part of the chess team, right? We want to be part of the math team, right? We want to do flying drones, science, music, basketball, right? You want to find something that occupies your time, okay? And I know right now you're little and mom and dad have control over what you do and where you go, but that soon's gonna stop, especially for some of you older kids, okay? Uh, harassment. Although bullying and harassment overlap sometimes, not all bullying is harassment and not all harassment is bullying. Harassment is unwelcome conduct based on a protected class of race, nationality, color, sex, age, disability, religion. So you can harass somebody by just being annoying. Has anybody ever harassed you? How? How has somebody harassed you? In your own words. All right, so if I ask you for a dollar and you tell me no, and I ask you for a dollar again, can I have a dollar, 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 give me a dollar, give me a dollar, give me a dollar, give me a dollar, you got a dollar, you got a dollar? That's harassment, right? <clears throat> this one is an interesting one. Does anybody know what stalking is? Uh, so stalking is like someone that knows where you live. Like, for example, I, bought, I watched a YouTube video about a YouTuber that he was getting stalked. Okay. So that's exactly what it is. It's if I don't like you and you live over there, I walk by your house to see if you're home, to see if you're there. Stalking is when you follow is when you follow When you follow someone everywhere they go. So we all know what stalking is, right? Now do you want to be a stalker? No. Never, right? 
Someone stalked you before. Are you okay? Good. <clears throat> All right, as, as you guys grow up, you're gonna start to become young adults. Like our young adults here are Coach Josh, Coach Vaughn, Coach Xavier, Coach Omar. Those are young adults, right? Because they're not quite adults, but they're not quite kids, right? So behaviors that are traditionally considered bullying among school-aged kids often require new attention to strategies as you get older and go into high school. Many of these behaviors are considered crimes <clears throat> under state and federal law and may have serious consequences over the age of 18. So something that you do when you're a kid, like say you're out here playing and you smack a kid. Now as a kid, you're not gonna get into that much trouble. But if I were to smack Coach Peter, I can get arrested and go to jail because that's assault. Does that make sense to you guys? So as you grow, whereas if you smack a kid in sixth grade, you might get a detention or your parents called. But if you're 18 and you smack another person, you're going to go to jail. Did you guys know that? So as you grow up, the consequences get steeper, okay? And we always wanna keep our hands to ourselves, right? Hitting is not the answer. Now, this is gonna make you guys really laugh. The next title is workplace bullying. The term bullying is typically used to refer behavior that occurs between school age kids. However, adults can be repeatedly aggressive and use power over each other too. If we learn to treat other people with respect and kindness now as kids, we won't be a bully when we're adults. So do you think Coach Peter gets bullied at work? Sometimes he does. So um, as an adult, have you ever gotten bullied at work? Have you ever gotten bullied at work? I've been, I have too. Christian? I know. So as an adult, the bullying doesn't stop. And that's why we wanna teach you now how to use your words and use your actions to get out of those dangerous situations of bullying, okay? Uh, there's three types of bullying. Uh, of, there's three types of this aggressive behavior. There's indirect, direct, and emotional. Give me two more minutes, guys. We're gonna finish our snacks and we can go back to playing, okay? Thank you. Um, and thank you guys for listening so good. You guys are really good listeners. So two more minutes and we'll wrap this up, okay? So indirect, an example of indirect aggression, talking bad about somebody behind their back. You guys have all seen that happen in school, right? Hey, you know that kid in the red shirt? He really had a stinky lunch. That's indirect bullying, because although he can't hear it, he may find out about it later, right? And it'll hurt his feelings. There's direct bullying hurting somebody to their face, whether it's verbal or physical. And we talked about the difference between verbal and physical, right? And then there's emotional. An example of emotional aggression is something that's bothering you. You yell or hit instead of just talking calmly about it. If something is bothering you, make sure you speak to a parent, a teacher, or a coach. Here's an example. You never pass the ball to me. You're stupid and can't make a basket for your life. That's the type of emotional stuff that's gonna hurt your feelings. And you can't let those things hurt your feelings, okay? Don't ever let somebody else's words mess with how you feel about yourself. You are great, you are good, and everybody has their time, okay? When Pete was 10, he couldn't dribble. When I was 10, I could dribble. But now we could both shoot the same kind of basketball shots. Doesn't matter at what stage, it just matters that you get better with yourself every day, okay? All right, we're gonna take a quick picture in the circle. So you guys, if you're finished with your snacks, throw it in the garbage and we'll take a quick picture. I know we have some, say it again, some book bags to give out and the three basketballs. <laughs>